We just got a weather report from the weatherman. The hurricane changed directions. You got to go and got to go now. What do you need coming up next? back to hurricane season 2020 episode 11 and today's video is on emergency backpacks a grab-and-go situation supposedly the hurricane was gonna go one way and all of a sudden it changed course which they can do and they've done it all the time and now you're in harm's way and you need to get out ASAP why do I need an emergency backpack let's cover that Emergency backpack. Actually, we'll start on the side so that makes it really quick. You just want to make sure on the side, I have a carabiner and I have can openers. So if you have to have cans, these are Army issued, you can pick those right up online. I have my notepad here with my um, evacuation routes, emergency contact, phone numbers, any uh, medicine and all that kind of stuff all written on it ready to go. I also have a map of my state so I can get around. I have a good flashlight and a multi-tool. All right, now this is just my backpack. You can set your backpack up exactly how you want it, what you want in it. Um, it, it is all up to you. This is just to give you a very good idea of what maybe you have. On this side over here, in this pouch right here is my compass. Down in here, I have things to start fire with. I have wooden matches. I have cotton balls with Vaseline. <clears throat> I have my my uh, fire rod, uh, my uh, fire starter. I have waterproof matches, and I have a uh, pencil lens. And you can use this lens with the uh, sun and start a fire with that. Oh, and. Big lighter. So that's kind of my fire starting compartment right there on the chance that I had to end up at a campground or something of that nature uh, on up the road or in another state because you couldn't find some place to stay. <clears throat> now we come up here to the main compartment. All right, make sure you have food. These are all Mountain House. Um, I buy these because I just pick them right up at Walmart. Um, they're very easy. Uh, they run you about $8.98 a piece. You know, um, there's a chicken teriyaki, beef stew, uh, biscuits and gravy, and a beef stroganoff. All right, you need a light. Emergency light of some kind. All right. Cordage. Make sure you got cordage. You don't know what you're going to be up against. I have a ton of stuff in here. I have a dual adapter that will fit into my car so that I can, um, it also has right on both sides, it has USB ports. So I can plug in multiple things into this um, and have things running in my car. More cordage. <clears throat> Stainless steel water bottle in case you needed to cook in it. Um, <clears throat> This is just basically a survival shack type deal. So if you had to put up an emergency shelter for the night or something, um, you could try to get maybe your kids or something and get them in there to try to keep them warm and dry. I would also su suggest, um, you know, I also have a change of clothes in the bottom of this bag. I'm not gonna pull them out because they're a pain in the neck to get back in. <clears throat> Carry two bottles of water. A mask. <clears throat> so that's just that compartment right there. Put that back in there. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold on one second. I had this out of the bag because I was talking to somebody about it but I also have my uh, Stanley uh, 
stainless steel little cooking cup here. Put this right over. Has a metal lid on it. Um, does come with two cups that are plastic, but you could cook over a fire or uh, hot coals or something and heat up water. That way you can purify it if you needed to. And these are very, very inexpensive. And they last very well. The biggest thing is you have to put in this thing what you need to survive for as long as you it may take you to get from point A to point B. You know, you just never know on that. You know, and I would suggest having one of these backpacks for everybody that's in your house. Now, in this back, in, in the front pouch here, I have a small pack of wipes, uh, toothbrush, soap. It's kind of like catalogies, you know, there's some Q-tips, um, shaving cream, <clears throat> razor, um, shampoo, Advil, Tylenol, and some deodorant. So it's kind of like, you know, you know, if it's an emergency situation, you want to make sure that, for one, um, you're staying nice and clean as possible. Uh, you don't want to get any uh, germs, bacteria, anything like that, and um, so on and so forth, because that could end up being a very bad situation. In the bottom here, I have a knife. <clears throat> this here is a towel. And then in the very bottom of this, as a last resort, I have uh, um, some more tinder to start the fire with. Some fat wood. And I carry three pieces, that's more than enough. That's basically what is in my emergency pack. <clears throat> now the stainless steel stuff, you know, you could take and you can boil water and everything in that. You could also go out and get you a Sawyer Mini uh, water filtration system. You could put that in here. I have that in one of my other backpacks. Um, you can get a water bladder. Um, I do have a water bladder for this. I just don't have it in here. Um, there are several different ways. So you don't have to carry the water if you don't want to. But you would want to make sure that you have uh, one of these packs packed and ready to go for everybody that's in your family. I did an extensive video on this um, <clears throat> a while back. If you want to go back and check out that video, uh, it's on the grab and go. And uh, there's actually a couple grab and go. There's one for your food bucket and then there's one for uh, your backpack. And the food bucket is coming up soon. And... Um, but these come in handy just on the chance that you have to get out of harm's way and you have to get out real quick. Um, this way here, you know, if you have one for everybody in the family and everybody knows to grab their backpack and out the door you go, um, you're all ready to go and you're on the road because time is of the essence. I mean, it could be the difference of, you know, life and death such situation. And it's not only for hurricanes, you know, for any type of a situation, flooding, fires, um, earthquakes, whatever. You know, if you can just run and grab this and as you're heading out that door, um, that's a huge bonus and a huge plus for you because you're prepared. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for everything you do for my channel. Thank you for the like, for hitting subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you on the flip side. And I almost forgot two important things. First thing. Cash. You gotta have cash. Power goes out, credit card systems down. You gotta have cash. So make sure you have cash in your emergency backpack. Second thing. In my pack, I do not have an emergency kit. I have an emergency backpack that I have that goes along with this. So if you do not have a separate pack, you're gonna wanna make sure that you incorporate in your emergency backpack some emergency supplies for you or for you and your family. Y'all have a good day.